we do these things? All right, well, here, let's, uh, let's take a look at the solar system scope, just looking at Enki here. And, you know, just to let everybody know, Wayne and I are watching this pretty close. 12 March 2017, it's going to be at its closest point to the Earth. And it's going to be almost between us and the sun. Uh, and Venus will be right there in front of it, too. It's going to be quite spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're not going to be able to not see it. And then, of course, you get, we've got looming, you know, Ceres over there now over by Mars, which we didn't know until, like, yesterday. And, you know, all the stuff we talked about all week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Steve, when we start looking at some of this stuff, um, we're starting to see this on our planet. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, hey, speaking of, uh, remember we were just talking about George but and your relationship with George. Um, didn't he just, can we go back to this David need? Do you know if Dave, what has David been saying lately? I mean, what is, what, what do you say on George's show? If you don't mind. Yeah. Well, I think, um, the story that's b behind this one, which by the way, there's something going on with the earth and it ties in. So this story here about what's happening up in Canada is it started last summer and the residents was hearing this strange sound and you know called the authorities and think anything about it the only problem is it's increased in intensity and frequency so much where so now even the wildlife is leaving the area are we seeing signs of something going on with our earth you and i were talking right before we went on about the sixth degree shift and we know that this has happened. We've seen it. Are we that seeing... documented that back in 2013, I think. Yeah, so what do we add this up to? Well, I think it continues to validate there is something out there. So David Mead, specifically, I thought was interesting. And if you pull, scroll down, you'll see where he actually says... Um, he thinks that this now is in um, basically in clustered in a tight package. He's calling it a mini solar system. I find that interesting, Steve. I do too. Because how many white papers has our physicists done? on this subject alone and where you and I are on the record for quite some time. You know, we get, a, we get hammered again by people saying that we make sometimes definitive statements. Listen, where Planet X Nibiru is, I'll go with the lead of a Mike Brown over at Caltech, right? Yep. But I also can look at the satellite telemetry data whether it's through the reaction of our magnetic field here on Earth, whether it's the solar wind that is, some, you know, we can see that as well. We right. can see the impact of magnetic influences. Again, if there's one thing we all have to understand, we still don't even understand our own star. Well, that's true, isn't it? It's very true. And, and the more we seem to think that we do know, we find out that even what we did know, we have to alter the science. Listen, there is something going on with our planet. CV and I both know it. I, I'm about to do a video, as I said, I just finished it, on are we cracking up? Well, that's just it. I think that it's, it, I, I think the, the effects on human behavior are profound right now. That's one of the reasons I'm interested in all this electromagnetic information i mean how could it not we're 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 big basically electric water water flesh bomb things that walk around and you know what i mean it's like everything's electromagnetic that we are right well let me just say this to you and i i posed this before the uh the listening audience as well so when we think about our brain right and that it is, in fact, it, it, it sends out a electromagnetic signal. It can be measured. 
Listen, Radio Basic 101 would tell you that if that is the case, then you bring in other electrical influences. You know, I have this question I've been asking myself, and I'm actually going to do a show on this, Steve. Maybe we should do a show. What is Wi-Fi? I'm becoming very much more suspicious that the fact that we think that because they tell us that it's harmless, we have readily accepted it. But I'm telling you, my friend, I believe something is afoot here. And when we start talking about our son, that it can, in fact, hit us with um, highly charged particles, right? Right. Yeah, and, yeah, and we don't think that, learning. And, and, and let me just go ahead and conclude it with the thought full circle. You don't think that this would not have an impact on the emotional centers of our brain? Listen, maybe it's just me, but if I had the ability that I knew that my brain would respond to a certain frequency, right? right. A certain microwave, a certain electromagnetic wave, a certain Wi-Fi, right? Right. That if I could do an amplitude on it, that I could not invoke a certain part of a motion of a brain. Particularly, let's just say, if a person is already having problems with depression, right? Oh, don't I know it. Let's go, let's go with it. Let's go with uh, bipolar. Let's go with schizophrenia. There has not been enough science done to truly see what the impact it does have on our brains, its output, the emotional aspect of it, and dare I say, our bodies. And that is the biggest producer of all. And then you think down here on Earth, it's not good enough that this is already hammering us potentially we either have a dark star or brown dwarfs that have magnetic influences. Well, you know, the one thing that they find out in these shows like ghost hunters, yeah, is that they began to find out very quickly that when you get down to like in a utility closet and if you have an unshielded, right? Electrical panel, we yeah. all do. You are standing in an electromagnetic intensity field. And we know that it has the ability to begin to either make people sensitive or it causes them to have the feeling of being watched, something touching them, et cetera, et cetera. Why wouldn't those principles go on as much? Let's talk about cosmic rays. Right? When we see the solar wind drop below 200 kilometers per second, yep. you know what that does? It starts heart attacks. And I think it is well, I think it has also the same impact on the human brain. So anyway, boy, full circle, my friend, full circle. Oh, no, there's plenty of pictures here to look at. I'm going to go to some, uh, some satellite stuff. This is, just, this is just two days worth of stuff, man. Trying to, but, you know, I'm just saying. Just crazy, 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 crazy. It you know is. What I mean? It is. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to go and show. There's one here that I just got a little bit. I wanted to do one little round here, and then I want to turn it over to you. But this is from the 8th. We had this really strange... Whoa, 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 whoa. So if we go back to a couple of days ago, did we not see that structure that over on the 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock side? <laughs> if I remember right, yeah. Yeah, we did. Look at that. Here, here it is on the 8th over Lake. Look at this. I don't know if that's a comet diver or what that is. Maybe a comet. This is just... Oh, there it here. is. There it is. Right yeah. there. Pull it up. Pull it up. There it is. Now you just do uh, an orbit. 
what we're seeing, pull up the recent one you had. Bingo. Look at that. Uh, no, all right. Let me let me let me do this right here. There we go. Look at it. All you'd have to do is so it's this one to this one. It went, it went whoop like that. It did. <laughs> whoop. This is really an interesting photo, Steve. I mean, so I feel like I'm breaking into like school over the summer or something, you know, whenever I get back and look at it. It's wait a minute. Go continue. It's actually showing up in um, core one. Go to the next next right there. Right there. I don't know if that's it, the same is thing. Is that though. it? I don't know. Well, that's from the 6th. But this is just, you know, here's another one from the 8th, which shows that. Pull that up again. I mean, that is just an unusual. Is that the comet? I don't know. There's so much out there. Yeah, I yeah. think it is a comet. I do think it's, I do, I do too. Maybe that's Comet Honda. Comet Honda. Well, I think that's a good thesis. I don't know. I don't know if that's common, Honda. No, I think there's something else. Listen, we, we saw. I don't think this is common, Honda. This is something that did a flip in, in six hours. Wait, this flipped. That's a, this is the same object. This one. Flipped. Whoop. Hmm. All right. Six hours. There you go. How mysterious is that? Well, you know, Sechi. <laughs> it's going to call it Mercury or some, something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you dumbasses, that's Mercury. I'm like, uh, 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 okay. So we got six hours here, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So if we go, even if you're doing a time lapse, right? Right. That's still movement. I mean, does a comet move that far? I mean, I don't know how to measure um, the distance that we're talking about here. I mean, if I take the sun, is the basis, right? Yeah. And if I use the sun as just my core measurement, that puppy is moving. And it's humongous. <laughs> and it's big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> humongous, very huge and ginormous. And so I, let me just get this right. So what we're really seeing there are photons, right? Those are photons, right? You know, I have a, there's a great video out there on YouTube called Fun with Photons. It's on the R. Wayne Steiger channel. <laughs> but the point is, is that we, we have become so cavalier sometimes that we've lost the awe and the wonder when we see something like this. So what is that? Is it a malfunction of the camera? I don't think so. No, you know? I'm, I, I don't buy Like sometimes we just see things. We don't know what it is. We have to be able to accept that as human beings. Our brains are only as big as this world. And that's why we're trying to expand a little bit to say that there might be something that's not from earth. <laughs> that's, that's in our solar system. That's all I'm saying. And by the way, we have plenty of documentation that shows that we have been, you know, it's kind of like a, a bloodhound on the scent trail. I, I really do. I, and I think that if we can begin to expand our thinking on the subject of Nibiru, Planet X, the 12th planet, whatever you want to call it, I think that we're understanding more of what our physicist has taught us and what has led me to go and dig deeper, right? Right. Well, Wayne, why don't you go ahead and there's, I know there's a couple of white papers that you wanted to share. And I think the first one that we talked about was that we would do, uh, which we're, we're going to make these white papers available, by the way. Um, you'll be able to link to them through my G drive and just be able to download the paper and the link will be below Wayne and uh, in my channel for you to do that. Yeah, then, so we a little quick note before you get into this Wayne, um, we're going to take WSO2 everybody and we're going to actually change it to where 
Wayne and I are going to do our daily show. Um, Wayne, um, do you mind if we talk about that for a moment? No, I'm excited about it. I think it's, uh, you know, we've, we've been inundated with requests for just months and months. And, you know, I, you and I have talked and I'm willing to make the commitment to the time. And so, yeah, we're going to start the uh, Steiger Olson report. Uh, it's going to be a commentary uh, format, uh, comment on current events, uh, theories, authors, we'll have viewer submissions, we'll have our Ask the Physicist. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this, Steve. I think it's a good evolution. Right. And so basically what you've been seeing on both mine and Wayne uh, channels, uh, actually Wayne, you've done it and I've done it. We've actually been trying different uh testing different length of clips and different subject matter and seeing what kind of thumbs up and thumbs down we're doing marketing research. WSO, the main channel, will return to its kind of main format. Sometimes we'll put shows on there, but uh, most of the time, you know, if you want to hear the Wayne, the Steiger Olson report, you'll have to go to what is now WSO2, and I'll have the link below. We'll be changing the name of it, but it'll be the same link, Wayne. Yeah, yep, absolutely. And we wanted to thank everybody that went to that second channel uh, supporting WSO and, and Wayne, all the help that you gave us when we got our, uh, when we got our butts kicked by having our channel taken down in December. Yeah. And I just want to let our listeners know um, I do have influences with the politicians and we're going to make this a priority now that uh, the new president has stepped in. Um, we're going to amend these copyright laws that have been abused. Um, we're trying to get, as uh, the legislation begins to uh, materialize, to put in uh, civil and criminal penalties for those who uh, purposely and maliciously make false accusations on copyright claims. So, um, yeah, and I just want to let everyone know, listen, we don't go out there to do anyone any harm on intellectual property of any sort. Right. And so I want to make that very clear. And also, Steve, we need to let everyone know this is a commentary. Understand, under the parameters of a commentary format, you are allowed to give both personal and whatever professional commentary on any subject, Steve, and we have protection under that right. So I'm excited about this, Steve. I hope that the listeners will uh, become much more participatory, not only in the pictures, but the questions. And uh, I think we can grow something here, my friend. 